Welcome everyone, I am back. Today is July the 18th, 2022. We are going to talk about a firm today. Hmm, maybe this market may be ready for a major move. Now that move may happen to be letting the price go up. I'm going to talk about that today without no confusion, without no fundamental analysis. I'm not going to look at the, you know, uh, a firm's earnings. I'm not going to look at what they're talking about in terms of the news, what's going on with the company. Nothing of that sort. I'm just going to look at the price chart. So to those who are new, welcome. This is HFN, also known as Chief News. I give you all the news according to the chart. Yeah, actually, the chart is the news. It tells us what the majority of the market participants are doing with their own money, if they're buying, if they're selling, because it tells us how we need to be positioned in order to win. So if you guys want to join me, go ahead and hit the like button. Share the video. Also subscribe here to my channel as well. OK, now I did a video in a firm all the way back in May, May 20th, 2022. You guys can see that my price prediction is still there. OK, let me zoom in because I was looking for the market in a firm to go up. Right now, you guys can see it. Price in a firm did go up, but it wasn't long lived. OK, you guys can see it market actually began its descension right here on May the 31st okay right there so we didn't have a whole lot of opportunity to grab the bag in the market price in a firm since then has just been trading range bound I will say that what sixteen dollars I was saying that $16 has been support and the restriction point has been coming around 24. Okay, now it looks like we may have another opportunity to allow the market price in a firm to come into our price target area if you missed out back there towards the ending of May. It looked like you might get another opportunity. Let me show you why. Okay, let me get rid of this. Now, like I said, the market in a firm has just been trading sideways been trading range bound this has been support okay right there around 17 dollars we're going to hold that there we are going to acknowledge that this is where the buyers currently reside this is where the market is buying this stock up because if they wasn't then the market in a firm would have already fell below this level and we would have went lower in price but that did not happen the buyers have been able to suppress that movement down and have been buying the stock up there that's good for us to see this market have a major move higher in price. Now, look at this on the wiki chart. OK, I'm going to keep it real. If I suspect that the market is geared to go higher, I will tell you if I suspect that the price is going to go down, I will tell you that as well. I'm unbiased. I could care less about what direction the market is going to go as long as we're able to profit from the move. That is the name of the game is to make this money last week look at that okay look at that the spread of last week's price bar you all can tell is a lot smaller than the previous two weeks but guess what you saw a whole lot of volume come in the market as well too what i'm here to tell you all is that the market here in a firm is buying yes over the last couple of weeks even though a lot of fear has been coming into the stock market, people are putting money to work. They're coming into the market and buying up this stock over the last couple of weeks. And that process may be ongoing because they know that a firm is geared to continue to trend higher price. I like what happened on the weekly chart. I like what happened here on the two weeks because if the market here in the firm truly was weak, like on this two week price bar, right? That's weakness. This is the way the arrows pointed down, the one that the arrows pointed down to. That's weakness. But the next two weeks, the market still did not go down. Hmm. That tells you something. It tells you that the buyers are trying to lift the price in a firm. It's not complicated, is it? Because the money cannot lie to us. It cannot tell us stories. It cannot give a situation that did not happen because once people actually come in and hit that buy button or hit that sell button, that's it. You can't come back and take it back and say, oh, it was a mistake. No, it's recorded. 
whether you're a big hedge fund, whether you're a big financial institution, whether you're just a regular mom and pop retail trader, it's all here. And what it's showing us is that the majority of the market is buying up a firm here. So yeah, I'm still looking for the price in a firm to go up. Over the last three, three weekly price bars, take a look, the market is being supported. Look at this three weekly price bar there. Like I said, that's weakness. But for us to get this three weekly price bar on pretty much, it's a little bit less in volume, but it's decent on the small spread. It tells me that the market is trying to go up in a firm. So could we see a major move happening to the market in the firm for us to be positioned? Yeah, we need to expect that to happen. So what I'm going to do I'm going to play the strength into the market and affirm again. Let me cut that one out though. Let me do a fresh one because that one went all the way back to May. So let me do a new one. Okay. Now, we're going to expect the market and affirm to continue to move higher in price. Okay. As long as we stay above $16. Period. Now, can you see where the problem childs are? Meaning that could impact the move higher in a firm. Yes, already right here. That's the first area. $24, like 25 cents. Keep that in mind. Now, looking at this from the weekly chart, I don't think that that's going to be a problem. So my first price target is going to be here around 28. Let me bring it down a little bit lower. $26.65, give or take. That's our first price target. You guys can see it as around 14.62%. My second one's gonna be around 28. That gives us 20.5%. Then the third one is gonna be around $30.35. That's around 30.5% movement higher in a firm. Okay. Now, let me take this off. And we are once again positioned to expect the market in a firm to go up. That's it. So now all we need to do is just chill out, let the market continually work. And every once in a while, you'll come in and see what's been going on. If the market is still giving you your expectations and you just know, all right, cool. Let me go on and do something else. Simple. Now it's your turn. Drop me a comment real quick and tell me where do you think the market in a firm is about to go? Are you suspecting that we're about to see a major move occur in this market in a firm? Because so far, the chart is reflecting that the buyers are trying to lift this price. What do you think? Let me know. Make sure you maintain a profitability. And as always, trade different.